Today we're going to talk about phase two following hip arthroscopy for rehabilitation of the hip. Uh, again, we're going to have uh, Megan Little who designed this protocol that I have been using for the past several years uh, that I really think is gets the best of both worlds in that it gets athletes and uh, patients back to functioning as quickly as possible, but at the same time uh, decreasing the chances of complications. The first exercise is straight leg raise abduction. Bend your bottom knee to maintain a stable position. The top leg, you want to avoid flexion, so you want to keep it behind you. You want to tighten your quadricep, and you're going to raise your leg as high as you can, avoiding any pinching pain. Approximately 10 inches. You're going to hold that position for the count of three and lower it. You want to relax your quadricep, tighten it up again, and you're going to raise it up again holding the position for the count of three, and then lowering it. You want to do this approximately 10 to 20 repetitions, depending on the patient's tolerance. The next exercise is straight leg raise extension. You want to tighten up the quadricep again, keeping the knee straight. You're going to raise the leg approximately six inches, depending on the patient's tolerance. Hold that position for the count of three and lower. In between each repetition, you want to tighten the quadricep again and raise the leg. You're going to do this 10 to 20 repetitions. The next exercise is known as butt blaster. You want to maintain a 90 degree angle here, you're going to raise your heel up toward the ceiling. And you want to pause, one, two, three, and lower it back down. You want to perform 10 to 20 repetitions. The next exercise is known as bridge. You want to keep your knees bent, hands down by your sides, you're going to lift your hips up toward the ceiling, hold the position for the count of five, and lower it. Again, you're going to do 10 to 20 repetitions depending on the patient's tolerance. In order to progress this, you want to move to single leg bridging. You're going to raise the uninvolved leg. The hands still maintain at your side. You're going to lift your hips up toward the ceiling, keeping this leg in line with the opposite leg. You're going to hold that position for the count of three and lower it. And you want to start with 10 repetitions. The next exercise is marching. You want to bend the involved leg. You're going to raise your knee to touch my hand at about 90 degrees, as long as there's no pinching pain. And you're going to hold it there for the count of three and lower it. And you'll start with 10 repetitions, building to 20. The next exercise is the plank. This is a core exercise. You're going to come up on your elbows and bring your pelvis up with you. You want to make sure that you're level. So you want to drop your pelvis slightly and hold right here in this position. You should be engaging your core. You want to hold this position for approximately 20 seconds and you want to do it three times. As the patient gets better, you can increase the repetitions and the time. The next exercise is mini squats or third knee bends. Feet shoulder width apart. You can hold onto the table if the patient's unsteady. And you're going to bend your knees 
performing a mini squat, about one third bend and come back up. Come down, hold it, and back up. And you're gonna do 10 to 20 repetitions. The next exercise is resisted stool, hip internal, and external rotation. Same exercise as shown in level one, except you're adding resistance. Bring your heel away from me. I'm going to do 20 repetitions in this position. Heel away from me again. 20 repetitions. Okay. The next exercise is single leg stance. The patient is going to stand on the involved leg in balance. The first step would be eyes open. The patient can hold that position, if they can, for 30 seconds, three times. As that becomes easy, the patient can move to doing it with their eyes closed. 30 seconds, three times. The next option for the single leg stance would be to stand on the involved leg, eyes open, and the patient will reach forward, hold the position for the count of three to five, and come back up ten times. The next exercise is sidestepping with resistance. The patient can tie a piece of TheraBand right above the kneecap. What they're going to do is they're going to they're going to squat, assuming that one-third knee bend position. She's going to sidestep, leading with the involved leg toward me, and follow through with the uninvolved, making sure that she doesn't drag her feet. Phase two typically begins three weeks or longer after initiation of physical therapy. Uh, the hip pain uh, is minimal with minimal pinching and the range of motion is 85% of the other side. Phase three is really sport specific and you know, the athletic or hip demands, performance demands of a soccer player versus a division one basketball player uh, versus a professional ballet dancer are vastly different and at this point the rehab would definitely diverge to become more sport or performance specific for that athlete.